sisters. Subscribe for more. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Jean here for those who don't know. If you're new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and you know join the big old family. I know today I sound a little bit nasally or congested. I am under the weather right now, so please, please, please bear with me. I know if my voice may sound irritating or annoying. Sorry to hear that because this is a chit chat get ready with me video. I'm just going to be sharing with you guys like what's going on with my life, like why it took me so long to film this video and other videos that I have lined up for you guys. And yeah, it's just like so much has been going on and I can't wait to share with you guys. I've been trying a lot of new products lately and I've been trying this for a month now. now this Manuka Lane Moisturizing facelift which is pretty amazing it has bee venom and manuka honey so this does wonders you guys you can totally use this as a moisturizer or you can use it as a primer and then put on your makeup so either way it's still like doable you will still get the best results as you can so i'm just going to be applying that to my face you know give my face a facelift and I'm just going to be massaging that upwards like because you you want to apply this where your face is you where you want it to lift like so you will like you know massage it up like so you know and I really really like it it's just like it just feels like a moisturizer and I really really love the results that it gives like you wouldn't see like right now because I literally just woke up I haven't been smiling but um usually throughout the day I'm like always smiling and the smile lines will be more you know prominent so like using this facelift oh my god you guys like it barely shows like I love it I seriously love it so I like massage it here because this is where I normally will like get creases throughout the day um other than that um I really really love the consistency and the results of it and I feel as though the ingredients in this moisturizer is really really beneficial for my skincare routine so like I said you can use this daily um you can use it as a moisturizer or you can just use it as a moisturizer and a primer as well for your makeup so that can totally last all day long um a little does go a long way like I said I've been using this for a month you guys and look barely like hitting pan like I just grab a dot 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 and just moisturize that in my skin and it does come with like a lid so you know to protect from the germs and all that sort and yeah I really really like it so if you guys want to check it out if you're interested in it um I feel as though like of course start young so you don't like you know get wrinkles when you get older and stuff you're kind of like um <clears throat> diminishing it and kind of like per not preventing it but you're kind of slowing down the process rate of you getting wrinkles you're gonna get it eventually so i've been trying this um a lot of people always ask me why don't you show your hair and stuff like that um it's i do um it's just like not on like it's not like on a camera type of thing it's just like i do it at home or like on my everyday life like when i'm like out and about like if i don't feel like getting ready i just go as is like you know what i mean um i just basically love like experimenting with like wigs and stuff because um it's like kind of like what can i say um it's like a protection you know you don't want to um, damage your hair I always put heat on my hair all the time and I found it being useful to wear like extensions and stuff like that so yeah um, I've been kind of like growing it out trying to make it more healthier so uh, I've been starting to use like your closet hair like hair vitamins 
and I really, 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 really love it. I'm going to show you guys the packaging after I finish dabbing this foundation in. <laughs> so, yeah, I've really, really been seeing amazing results. Again, I've been using this for a little bit over a month. I really don't like coming on camera, like, talking to you guys about products that I just started newly using for, like, a week. I feel as though you don't really see results in that amount of time. So I really can't give you an opinion on it. It's just, like, me saying, like, oh, okay, um, I haven't seen any, like, bad results or whatever. But, um basically i've been really really loving this hair vitamins as you guys know in the past i've been you know using other ones but i feel like this one it is showing me amazing results no side effects and i really 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 like it i feel as though like i just been taking vitamins like i you know how when you take something you like you know you're taking it because the effects of it I haven't felt anything nothing bad happened and the growth is amazing so i will be doing a updated like natural hair because i did do a video in the past if you guys want to check it out if you guys want to see my natural hair i will link that down below but yeah i really 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 love the results and um yeah here's what it looks like i just took it before this video with um, eight ounces of water. I always drink eight hours, ounces of water um, with anything because I feel as though it's just like you need. I feel like water is just like you need it. It's like majority of your body is produced by water. So I feel as though like that's really, really essential to your, you know, hair and face and skin care, you know, all that jazz stuff, you know. So. If you guys want to check out and get your hair on fleek, have your hair slain, you know what I mean? Go check out your closet. You won't regret it. And they're really, really, I feel as though it's a really, really affordable price. So um, if you guys are interested, I'll have that, you know, down below. So, yeah. So what's been going on with my life? Um... My mom, you guys always ask me about my mom. My mom is doing well. She has, like, good and bad days. So, um, I will be doing, like, an updated video for her. I was waiting for sur her surgery so I can, um, basically, like, you know, show her, um, prepping for surgery and all that stuff because she really wanted to show you guys. And a lot of you guys kept, um, were seeing, like, and the cancer video when I announced it and stuff like I was doing it for likes um and views that was not the case my mom generally wanted to share um share that information with you guys because um her cancer was really really unique and not the way the doctors were explaining it was they haven't really seen a case like that um, before so they were really really intrigued like every time when she goes to the hospital doctors always like go in a room and like examine her um, tumor because it's just like so fascinating in that um sense so that's why I shared that with you guys it wasn't for views or anything because um, I'm not going to exploit my mother it's that's just bizarre so yeah um far as like i'm just gonna be doing updates um showing telling you guys updates about basically videos and comments since i can just clear the air here um what other video oh <laughs> the video i did with manny it was basically the foreign snacks like americans try foreign snacks and people were so offensive like i'm not saying like everybody but people were literally offensive saying oh my god you ruined my childhood like you totally were so rude and i'm like if someone was eating hot cheetos because you guys know like hot cheetos or crabs or salmon or anything that's my favorite and someone spinning it out on camera i would not get offended for one i did not create crabs 
or salmon or hot Cheetos or whatever is your favorite thing. Like I didn't I didn't create those things. So why would I get so offended if someone's spinning on a camera? Yes, it's probably like a little impolite far as like mannerisms, but I didn't think that um, I was going to need like a napkin or I was going to be spitting out stuff because um, I didn't think it was going to be that absurd for me to like not like it in that sense. <clears throat> but um, some of the stuff I didn't like and it was just like a natural reaction. I wanted to show that you guys on, on camera. I didn't want to seem like, oh, a company sent me this box. I'm going to pretend that I like it. No, that's not the case. So, yeah. I was like, dude, calm your, calm your toes. I did not ruin your childhood. You're still going to enjoy it the same way. You're not going to be like, you know, every time when you eat something, you're going to be picturing me spitting it out. Like, come on. You know how many people spit out stuff all the time? Like when a, Americans joke about something and they spit out juice and they be like, ha ha, that's funny. Did I, did that person ruin your childhood of drinking orange juice or orange soda or whatever the case may be? No. So like, come on you guys. It's not that serious. Come on. So yeah, um, I'm about to quickly do my brows because I can't talk and do my brows because I'm literally into this conversation. So I'm going to do my brows and come back. And for those who are wondering why I have this on my hair, my hair is currently drying. So, yeah, that's the case. I haven't done my makeup, you guys, in three weeks. Whoa. Whew, that was like, I think it was three weeks. Yeah. It's been three weeks. Um, it feels like, you know how when you haven't done your makeup in forever, you feel like, Am I gonna forget? <laughs> I always feel that way. It's like I always feel like I'm going to um forget how I do it or like a certain technique that I started using and yeah, I won't be able to duplicate those looks anymore. So yeah, I was like, you know, but then after you're done with your makeup and you'd be like, Oh, I still got it. You know what I mean? So um what else has been going on? Um, I, in my last get chit chat, get ready with me, that was like about like, um, I think it was like four or five months ago. Um, I talked about like friends. So, um, as you guys know that I met Dina, um, Dina Bina Chama, that's her YouTube channel. I basically met her on YouTube create, um, creator day. And, um, I met her through Twitter and she's like, honestly, like, so like, amazing friend like I literally like so like happy that I met her because she's like we instantly clicked like we were like long lost like I don't know like we were just like we freaking connected on like it was just so weird like I haven't like the way that I acted with her on the first day I don't really act with my other friends because like just like the quirkiness you know like of my personality and like the insider jokes we already had our like it was just so weird and um yeah she's like sorry if I do this like I have like a big nose so I like I have to get in the crack in the crevices of it um big nose problems um some of you guys are like what you don't even have a big nose I think I do but um yeah what I was about to say yeah she's pretty awesome I met um another girl Mora on Halloween a lot of you guys was like um, did you meet her this past Halloween? Yeah, I met her on Halloween through a mutual friend and then we instantly clicked that night So we was just like started talking like for two months and then we didn't hang out until like December when you guys saw that vlog when I went ice skating into the museum with um, all three of them Dina Mora and Manny It's just like a fun little date for him to meet um, to meet them and for us to like, you know, bond and stuff like that and yeah it was pretty it was a pretty awesome time what else um dude sorry if I'm all over the place I'm trying to like think of what's been going on 
in my life um basically been taking care of my mom the other night the not the other day but like i think it was like two weekends ago she literally fell because she was trying to pick something up off the floor i don't get why she was bending down she could have simply just asked me because me and manny was just like right there and i was like in manny's arms and we were on facebook and all i mean he heard it i didn't hear it here thank god she was here um all i heard was a um all he heard was like a thump i heard it like you know discreetly but it wasn't like like alarming like for me to like oh, what was that you know what i mean but um she had fell and i man it was like your mom fell and i'm like what and i ran over there and like i like i was not trying to cry but i started crying because when i looked at her forehead and her nose it was like scratched up i'm like what did you do like what happened she's like i was trying to um pick something out the corner i'm like why are you picking it up like you're not even supposed to be looking down there like go and do what you gotta do like i was just like 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 the type of person i am is like i always give lectures like that's just me like i i'd be like why did you do this even though like i will still be comf um comforting you and stuff like that i was like asking her like why and i was like look at your um forehead like it's um it's scarred up and it's um it looked like it was bleeding i don't was it bleeding no it was just like um it was just red and um i hurried up went in the kitchen grabbed um a little baggie and i put ice on it um put like um i put five ice <laughs> um which was pretty too much i had to take all of them out and put um one ice in there put it on her forehead and like she had it back and then she had like a little bruise on her nose and it was like from rug burn like that's how bad she felt I'm like you got rug burn on your face and it was really sad like i was just crying the whole time and i was trying to be strong and stuff like that and manny was right there helping so i was like oh my god that was just it was just really really like uh i was so sad i was thinking mom your face but then the bruise went away like it's it's no longer there no more it's gone so yeah i'm thankful that um we heard it and it was nothing where it's no concussion or nothing like that because i was about to like rush her to the emergency room because um i didn't want her to get a concussion her hair like she had no hair like she's bald right now so it's like her head is extremely fragile and it's i don't know i was just really scared so yeah that's what's going on um and a lot of companies that are seeing this right now like i appreciate you guys so so much for like understanding my situation and the fact that you know like you guys still willing to work with me despite like sometimes i'm not the most dependable person and i'm sorry for that but i promise you like i like it's just like i really do want to work with um keep my business relationships and stuff like that and friendships it's just like it's hard sometimes you know trying to like um take take care of one person and then you know still like make sure you're good and um keeping everything keep your priorities straight and stuff like that so um i'm back on my grind um i'm not gonna say as of right now like i have to get back on my grind as you guys know on my snapchat stories i am looking um for a um a place and um i'm thinking of moving well i am i want i will be living in virginia um most people in dc will stay in dc but um i really really like virginia like it's a family oriented place um nice places at a reasonable price as you guys know dc is expensive like um they say la in new york is expensive but i heard that dc is the most um top top expensive city um one of the most expensive cities to live in and um i wouldn't say far as like I feel like LA is, well, New York is, I mean, if you're in like, if you know the certain areas, but I feel like I heard LA food is expensive as far as like, you know, it's not really much shops, like, you know, how here it's just like really everything's like, you can find like good meals at a good price, you know what I mean? But far as there is, everything's expensive and you know, it's just like this high life. Um, far as here, the places, the condos 
oh my god you guys condos in the crappiest places will be three thousand dollars for what for a noisy neighborhood that isn't even that great um no gated um entry or nothing like i wanted to be i want i'm i'm looking to live in a gated community um with pool with a fitness center with trails just so like since i am going to be in the house majority of the time i will love i will love 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 hold on gotta get my am i still filming yes i will love to um what I was gonna say ah! oh yeah um since I will be like um be while well, we'll be home majority of the time Manny is going to be at work and then he comes home for a few hours eat um probably like you know play the game with me because you know we're hardcore gamers when it comes to um black ops 3 um play video games eat you know mingle and then he has to head back out um to train because you know he's training to become a nfl player um hopefully when we move i was looking for a nice place that has a fitness center that looks like a gym like it has all the equipment that he needs so maybe his coach can come to our um apartment building and they can work out there so like once he's done he can just like go upstairs and fix his shake eat again and then you know um you know get ready for bed and stuff like that at least like i don't have to wait for him to come home and that would be like another 40 minutes because like we're going to be out of the city you know what i mean because his gym well maybe not necessarily because maybe it'll be a quicker drive since we're in virginia already he can just you know hop into maryland since um, his gym is in Maryland. So, yeah. It's all over the place. Um, basically, I keep saying basically, um, like, uh, I know, bad grammar. It's just so hard doing my makeup and talking. But, yeah, I went to live in a gated community. And, of course, I will be getting a puppy in my home. So, of course, they have to have, um, cats and dogs. Um, you know permitted on the property and the building and stuff like that because where I live right now the reason why my dog is in here is because this building doesn't allow dogs animals here which I don't think that's true I just think my mom says that because she hates animals so yeah but um what I was gonna say yeah, I'm I'm really excited. Um me and my mom was looking at places last night actually. Um you guys probably seen that on my Snapchat. Um I'm narrowing the searches down and then once Manny get his car because we're about to get it um his car soon at the end of this month. I, well, whoa, it's February. Well, when this video goes up, I don't know when you guys will be watching this. You guys will probably be watching it January 30th, but, um, which is today, right? My anniversary is February 4th, and that will make it nine freaking years, you guys. Nine freaking years with Manny, which is insane. It's crazy. It's really crazy. Nine years since high school, and to be honest, it doesn't really feel like that long because... I don't know man time freaking flies I barely like I still have memories of high school but that not that much like I'm I'm it's like slowly kind of drifting away and it's not because I'm getting older it's just because um it's just the way my mind always works like I barely remember my childhood like I don't even remember certain stuff because if someone keeps like talking about the memory of course I'm going to remember it but if not, it's just going to like fade away and stuff like that. Even at a young age, like I don't remember anything past. <sighs> I don't remember anything past like sixth grade, to be honest. And that's kind of sad, like when I was 11 years old. So, yeah, it's kind of sad, actually. But yeah, that's just how my memory works. I feel like my bra a good way to fix up your bronzer is to kind of like since it's kind of dragged down here I'm just gonna fix that up fix that up there we go it's kind of dragged down there 
I don't want to look like a harsh um, contour either. So I'm just going for like a natural simple look today. Um, I'm not really doing anything much. I'm just going to film um, some videos. So I'm not just going, like I'm not really going anywhere. I'm just staying in the house. So I'm just going to go for something simplistic, you know. So, yeah, um, I'm so excited to start house hunting. I'm um, 24 years old and the reason why the process was delayed, I was supposed to actually um, have been moved by October after I came from Generation Beauty. Um, but um, my mom, sickness and stuff, I just wanted to make sure she was okay and stuff like that. And I'm glad I kind of stayed because um, there was a lot of times where um, she didn't really have my brother to act, like help out and stuff. So like I was there for her and Manny was there for her. So yeah, it, was, it all worked out. Like I don't, I don't regret anything. Um, I just feel like everything happens for a reason. I don't want to rush the moving process. I feel as though like... You sh when you move, you should have at least, like, a good amount of money, six months money, six months of rent saved up. There we go. Because <clears throat> you don't want anything to happen or going back home because you can't afford anything. And, and then it just looks like it's on you. You should have been um, precautious about that. Like, you're supposed to make sure, like, you're prepared for the worst. So yeah. That's about it. I think that's all the new stuff that's been going on. Um, from my snaps. <clears throat> I've been recently hanging back out with those high school friends that I told you about. In my last chit chat. Get ready with me. <clears throat> you, when I was telling you why like I didn't really have a lot of friends. And I fell off with the um high school uh friends that i was telling you guys about if you guys want to know that full story just refer to the link because it's kind of long and lengthy and i know this video is already too long already so um we went to dave and busters about two weeks ago and um I'm slowly getting back connected with them. I'm not going to... I don't know where it's going to go. Like, if I'm going to be best friends with the two females. Because, like I said, we were the super six. It was three of us that were best friends. And we're all couples. And we... um, Basically, one of the couples... Hold on. Hold on. I think I have the most... We all kind of sort of went out at the same time. We were all friends already. Um... Yeah, we just all knew each other. Like, I, I knew, um, I'm not going to, should I say names? No, no, I'm not going to say names. Yeah, like, we went to Dave & Buster's. It was pretty fun time. I kind of, like, am more reserved than I am before. Usually, like, I like to, like, go all in and just open my heart out to people. Even though, like, they kind of, like, hurt me in the past. But I, I kind of stopped doing that now because I just feel like it's not working in my favor and um, I'm not benefiting anything from it but a heartache, you know what I mean? So I kind of like have my guard up, but at the same time, I'm still letting go. I'm still being me in that sort of sense, you know? So, yeah. Um, I don't know. It was pretty awesome. We had a good time. It was really fun. We were like laughing the whole night. And we went to this freaking crappy Mexican restaurant. I forgot to give you guys the name on my Snapchat story. My Snapchat is Beauty by Janine. Beauty by Janicia. Wow. Um, I keep saying Snapchat, but not letting you guys know what it is. But all that's in the description box. But basically, um, I order a, a enchilada. And let's just say that enchilada was... <sighs> It was not what I expected. Um, what um, what my friends were saying at the table that it looked like a hmm, a stingray. That's just like giving you a a picture of how it looked. And I don't know if I Snapchatted it because I was just so freaking mad. Um, white boy gave me his his food. One of his, um, I don't even know what it was. It was like a chicken wrap or something. Um, he gave me one of his thing because I was starving. I hate confrontation. I'm getting out of that mode. 
um, I don't even think it was about confrontation that night about like just saying like, hey, um, this is not what I want. Can you take it back? It was just the fact that we waited so long already because we were like literally we went to Maggiano's long line. It was like a two hour wait. We went to some other place, two hour wait. We were like, what the heck? And then we went to that Mexican restaurant, which was a 40 minute wait. So we was like, okay, we're hungry. We might as well just talk. Time will go past. And you know, boom, bada bang. Yo, what is up with my nose contour? I don't, I don't think. Looks kind of weird. I don't know. It's maybe it's fine. And like, my um softbox just casting shadow yeah it's fine wow i'm adding more product that i really don't need so yeah and the fact that we were just waiting already it's like i didn't want to like take it back then wait for my f another 20 minutes for my food we were trying to hurry up and go to dave and busters because it was already like i don't know what it was like I think it was like 9 something when we sat down to eat and we left there like around 11 30 11 40 and David Buster's closed at 2 a.m. so it just gave us a two hour time to like you know play the games and stuff like that so yeah it was a really really fun experience I I'm not gonna lie about that um I won a Superman teddy bear which I'll probably show you guys at the end of the video um me and Matt and he was going ham on them games because I really wanted a minion, but I I was so close for it. But since the time it was almost two o'clock, I couldn't really go back and play like a few more games to get the minion because you guys know I love my minions. Oh my god. Oh my god. And I will be doing a updated kind of like um how to make money on YouTube, more explanation on FameBit because a lot of new features has been going on with FameBit that I would love to share with you guys. And no, I'm not sponsored by FameBit actually. They were kind of like, they commented on my um, 10,000, how to make $10,000 on FameBit video that I made. And they commented on it with like googly eyes emojis. And I was like, what? They saw my video. Yeah, I just, I did it honestly just to help you guys. And um, I'm just going to clear the air right now. And if I don't respond back to your messages on Facebook, this is the reason why it's become a little bit repetitive of the stuff that I say to you guys when you guys contact me. The fact that I give you guys the tools to um, basically make these videos. Um, basically, I give you guys the tools to how to make money on YouTube. Um, I have my brain dead. Wow. How to make you money on YouTube. How to get views. How to get subscribers. I made videos on that. And um, um, I don't think I will be doing an updated video on that. But I still feel as though like the information that I gave you is very, very useful enough for you guys to, you know, either start your channel or to begin growing it seriously. So when you guys ask me um kind of redundant questions of like how can like hey can you help me do this um it's kind of like it's kind of like showing me that you guys aren't self-efficient that you won't make it into the youtube world because the fact that i gave you guys four videos on how to basically create a great channel you're still asking me questions on stuff that i already answered and that at this point you just want me to do it for you and the fact of it is like I'm, I'm not trying to come off mean or anything of that way. I'm just trying to um, prepare you um, in that sort of sense that no one's going to do anything for you. You have to do it all on your own. Like, I had to literally learn everything on my own. Like, every information I'm telling you guys, no one told me that information. So, there, from that point on, you're already a step ahead of me from when I started my channel. I didn't have none of that information that I was sharing with you, with you guys. So, the fact that... You have all that information should give you that kind of starter to like you know really be serious if you're really serious of becoming a youtuber in that sense but it's like it kind of like gets me under my skin because it's like what how much more can i do like someone said can you help me start an online business how can i help you start an online business if i'm still working on my channel like how can i 
stop everything what I'm doing to help you when I already gave you the tools to kind of help you grow and where to start and stuff like that it's like now you're just like using me for you know me um in a sense I don't mind helping others as far as promoting like at times if you don't tell me I most likely will retweet or like yo check out this channel you know what I mean but when you're telling me to like hey promote this and do that it's like dude really i said i was helping as in you can post on my facebook fan page um let other girls in the community that is following me check out your stuff so everyone's helping one another i'm still viewing your stuff regardless if you don't know about it or not i watch your guys stuff i when you guys comment i always check to see if you're a channel like if you make videos and I always like check it out you know what I mean so it's like in that type of sense I I still watch your videos and don't don't think I don't I be creeping I be lurking and I be stalking you feel me because I, I do that I do that I don't I have nothing but um time on my hands when I'm not like filming and editing and stuff like that or taking care of my mom but um another thing is I, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because these people aren't ginsters. These people aren't like long-term subscribers. They watch one video of mine and instantly trying to ask for my help. But the how to make 10000 on Famebed video. And they're just instantly asking me for help. And that kind of comes off to me as fake and phony. Because you're asking someone for help that you don't know nothing about. You're not inspired by them. You're not kind of like... You're, you're not wanting to like grow like them all you see is a number all you saw was how much i made and want my help you know what i mean and i feel as though it's like dang can you can you get to know about me like hey jen how's like how's life like you know like get like show appreciation build a friendship i feel as though like people ask for collabs but don't know me that don't make sense how you never watch a video of mine and want to collab? That's like Beyonce saying, hey, I want to collab with Chris Brown, but never heard none of his songs. You don't even know if there's talent there, if you're wasting your time, if there's a connection, if you're vibing, if you're inspired by his creativity. Like, you don't know that because you don't know them. And it's the fact that you, like, half of these people never even see my videos by asking for a collab. Not nonetheless, they're not in the same range as me, which I feel as though that's a plus as well because I'm not saying you have to have a substantial amount of subscribers, but it, it it's kind of like if you're if I'm helping you, how can you help me if it's a collab? That's what collabs are like. First of all, you're supposed to have fun and it's a friendship involved, but at the same time, it's like, am I going to gain something from it? It's not like oh I'm using you to gain something but I still going to be making high quality videos and I want to make sure like it's worth it you know what I mean because that's what YouTube is you were trying to grow it's not about like you know like I'm using or something but as the fact of it is like people always trying to you know ask for collabs and they don't know nothing about you and that's I feel this I find that so offensive I really do I find it so offensive how you don't know nothing about me, but you're asking for a collab. And I just view as phony. So if you guys are those type of people, don't get offended. Just trying to change your steps of going about it. Like, um, basically watch people videos like the people you watch and they're in their in your subscriber range and you really find a deep appreciation for them and you really love their work and you're kind of similar to what they you know their content then reach out to them say like hey like i've been following your channel for a while and you're really awesome you're really rad like i remember this one video you did like refer to something so we know like it's credible like you're not just reaching out just for you know you know like show them that you really really like and like you know them like you really fond of their work you know it's just like i don't know like i just feel as though like you like it's just like a learning street i'm not saying like you're supposed to know this all beforehand but um yeah sorry if i'm 
talking like that is like so hard talking and doing this wing liner. But kind of like go a different route of how you approach people. Um, a lot of you guys ask when is the wedding. Um, I would like, I would like to get married. Um, he said, uh, we, we kind of decided on like two to three years. Um, but I necessary I want to like have papers of us, like, you know, paper. I think, I think you get married and they have a ceremony, that type of thing. But I want to get married before I move. Like I want to be husband and wife before we get our place. So um, yeah, I don't like to do things backwards. I always wanted to be like married and then move in together, and then have a baby along the way. Um, I would like to have kids at the age of twenty. I'm twenty four, twenty seven, twenty six maybe, but twenty seven. Um, twenty seven is the age that we're shooting for. Um, once we're, um, I keep saying, um, sorry, I hate that. Like when I hear myself, I'm like, girl, shut up. Like, stop saying, um, get your thoughts collected. Um, I would like to have kids at 27 because I would like to be financially stable and independent far as I don't have to worry about care in the world because my baby is good. Um, I don't have to struggle we don't have to struggle and um i can be a stay-at-home mom while still doing like videos for you guys and stuff like that i really really will love that be really hands-on with my child because that's just what i envision myself as a mother i just can't wait to look like teach them stuff we're gonna be like learning every day i i just i just can't wait you guys um my rules are no TV, um, no electronics. Like, I don't support that. I don't like when kids... I be playing Call of Duty, you guys. And there will be four years old. Four year olds. Four year olds. Five, six, seven, eight year olds playing Call of Duty. And, um... Having a four year old playing Call of Duty and they're talking to you through the mic like, Hey, watch out. It's kind of... I'm talking to a four-year-old like dude how are you playing Call of Duty how do you know how to shoot and how do you know how to work in Xbox one like I don't understand it just baffles me sometimes you guys like where are your parents like I don't I don't get it I, I don't understand sometimes at all like it just baffles me how a four-year-old knows how to work a Xbox one what I was doing at four years old was definitely not on Xbox, and yeah, it's just, it's just crazy. Like, I don't know. I feel like parents these days are disconnected. I'm not saying all. I'm not saying all. Don't, don't kind of like, I feel as though like, they're always occupied, either occupied to the point like, hey, go play this. Here, you want my phone while I'm talking? Doesn't Like, you get them hooked already, and it's like, that's, that's not okay. I don't want minds to be like that. I want to be really hands-on and be in bed by a certain time. You know, um, we're going to be like going to museums and learning every day. Like we're not going to be at home sitting watching TV. We're going to be doing something productive. My child is going to be learning some type of thing today, educational regardless. You know what I mean? So that's just like the type of person I am as far as like... Um, how I would want to raise my child so I just want to give you guys my views on that because you guys always ask me um stuff like that I I do want to have kids at 27 though um my second child would probably be at 29 and then that was that's about it I want to have two kids so hopefully God has that in store for me doesn't really matter on gender boy or girl maybe boy and girl but um just so we can experience like a boy and a girl but just like um my mom did so yeah i i just i just i just want a boy and a girl i'm so excited like uh.